Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I'm very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. And welcome to Friday's edition of the Doctor Who Daily. If, if you, and if you're feeling charitable, please smash that subscribe button and that like button and follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. That depends, of course, whether we've had the upcoming apocalypse. And um, I'm like, ah, like that. But I, maybe I'll still do a video if I'm not well or something. Because, hey, if I can, why not? Anyway, welcome to today's video, which is titled The Trial of the Showrunners. I have a lot of respect for Russell T. Davies, especially Russell, and Stephen Moffat, and even Chris Chibnall. These are three fans who were talented enough to, you know, to be part of this amazing revival. And it is amazing, especially when I think about the years after it was cancelled. And we, yes, we had audios and comics and books and all that. But let's be honest, it isn't the damn same, is it? And what Russell T. Davis was able to do was a resurgence, a rebirth. It was amazing to see modern Doctor Who on the screen again and done so well and so emotional. And that goes from Russell T. Davies to Stephen Moffat uh, as well. You know, some of the stuff we saw in Moffat's era was beautiful and amazing. But what Rus without Russell, we are not here. We don't have these memories. We don't get to talk about these. We don't care about... We don't get to love episodes, hate episodes, analyse episodes constructively. Do you know what I mean? Imagine the YouTubers that we follow now. Mr. Tardis, you know... Um, Harbo Holmes, which is a brand new one, really, but I, I love him. I think he's amazing. A really intelligent young Doctor Who fan that talks brilliantly about the show. Go and follow, follow him. I think it's H-A-R-B-O, Holmes, W-H-O-L-M-E-S. But his videos are amazing. Even if you don't agree with everything he says, nothing to do with me, not my mate. Wish he was my mate, but he's not my mate. But I just thought, you know, he's a great YouTuber. So all this has spanned so many, you know, people and fans, and we, 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 you know, we're connected with each other and stuff like that. So, in this video, I will have a trial. Well, I won't really have a trial, not a real trial, because obviously I can't put people in prison for making television badly, or television I don't like, or television I deem to be bad. But we need to talk about the real toxic acid that's within the Doctor Who production right now. And let me tell you what it is. It's the Doctor Who showrunner country club. Because guess what? Russell T. Davies, Stephen Moffat, um, Chris Chibnall, uh, Mark Gatiss, they're a country club. They're a group of friends. And we've seen it recently on Radio Times with Nick Briggs defending the Timeless Children and the Timeless Child reveal. Now, as you know, I'm a supporter of that storyline, of that arc. What I'm not a supporter of is the boring era and the, the, doc, the, doc, the Dr. Bland era that Chris Chibnall has given us. But all these people who are part of this country club are supporting this because they want it to continue. These are a group of people who depend on Chris Chibnall being at the power structure. And then when Chris Chibnall leaves, Chris Chibnall will promote a previous fan. I don't know who. You understand what's going on here. These are talented men. Right. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's time to break this country club up. It's time to say enough's enough, guys. It's self-isolation time. I think it's time for a non-Doctor Who fan to run Doctor Who. Now, I've been on this channel before saying, no, 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 no. It's best if you know the show and it's in your heart and it's in your soul. But I was laying in my bed this morning and I think about Doctor Who a lot, even in my bed. I know. Pretty pathetic and sad, right? By the way, just changing the subject just slightly for a second, there's going to be a big event. Because of this self-isolation, Doctor Who fans are actually setting up a watch party for the Day of the Doctor. Now, apparently, it's going to be online where we can go and watch it together and comment on it and talk about it. Now, I'm probably just going to put it on on my Blu-ray and watch it and honour it. It's 7 p.m. UK time. So if you can work out what time that is where you are, you should definitely do that. But yes, very, very exciting. Anyway, so we have a situation now where these showrunners who are friends, who are protecting each other, now they're all protecting each other and they're protecting Chris Chibnall to remain in his job. 
Now, a little thing I've mentioned on my channel before, but uh, new subscribers and viewers won't know this, that on one of my old Instagram accounts, I did a video tagging Russell T Davies and saying how good he was and how not so good the current era is. I suddenly got a comment on the video from Russell T Davies himself, his account saying, please don't tag me in negative posts. Do you under Now, at first I was heartbroken because as you all know, I really look up to Russell. But then I realized I calmed down and I liked his comment and I just moved on, right? And I respected that and I've never tagged him in a post again. I mention him in my videos, but I won't directly tag him because that's what he doesn't want because they're a country club and they're trying to protect each other. They are friends. They are friends and they will do anything. They will fight anyone to keep in each other in jobs. This is how this industry works. The whole industry is a country club of people who are re related to each other, who are friends, they christen each other's kids. It's no one gets in from the outside. Well, unless you're Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and that was just an accident, right? And that's only because Robin Williams helped that happen. But rarely does anyone make it in this industry unless they, um, well, let's just say they pray to a certain God or they know someone or they're related to someone. That's how it works. You know, you can, you know, downvote this video if you want, but that's the reality of this industry. And if you don't believe that, you're not part of this industry. Right. So basically, these people are protecting Chip. So he won't lose his job. The BBC have less faith in him than we do. Let me assure you of that. When um, Stephen Moffat decided that Chris Chibnall should get the job, the BBC, that was the last person they wanted. Why do you think he had to go to ITV with Broadchurch, right? Right? Okay, that's another story for another time. The BBC never wanted this. But um, Stephen Moffat was very, very forceful. And of course, he, 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 he's the co-creator of the Sherlock TV series. They need to keep him happy because in the future they want more Sherlock and they want to work with him again. And they have with a co-production with Netflix called Dracula, right? Which I'm in the middle of watching still, but haven't finished it. It's OK um, anyway, right? And so this is the situation. But let's just say we could break the habit of the lifetime in this industry and say, Russell T Davies. Stephen Moffat, Chris Chibnall, Chris Chibnall, you're out. And Russell T Davies goes, no, I'm Russell T Davies. I breathed life into Doctor Who. I'm amazing, everybody loves you. I'm Stephen Moffat. I won't do any more Sherlock. And I go, you know what? Sit F down. No, no, no. Chibnall must go. He cast his best mate, right? His best mate as the Doctor. Do you understand what I'm saying here? How this industry works? You still not believe in me, right? It's a country club. And guess what Chibnall did? He cast his mate, pretended he was this cool SJW casting a female, when he cast the most any casting person would have said to him, don't cast her as the Doctor, right? Oh, and Chris, don't put that rainbow thing on her. No, please. It's so cringe. She's not even an LBGTQ character. What are you trying to say here? It doesn't even make any sense, right? Um, so it, it's funny, isn't it? So basically, this doctor makes no sense, but not in a good way, not in a mysterious, who's the doctor? It's like, you ain't the doctor. You don't feel like the doctor. You don't act like the doctor. And let me be clear here to people saying, well, the doctors, each doctor's always acted differently. Yes, in a good way, in an interesting way, in an intriguing way. This is this is Dr. Bland. And this ain't personal against Jodie Whittaker. I feel bad for her. But I don't because she took a job she should never have taken. I don't blame her. It's the most, you know, amazing job, a job that I've always wanted all my life. And I envy her. But she doesn't deserve it. She didn't earn that job. Let's be clear here. And that's because of Chris Chibnall. Chris Chibnall did this at the end of the day. So I find Russell T Davies, Stephen Moffat and Chris Chibnall guilty. Guilty of contempt and betrayal of the Doctor Who fans and Nick Briggs as well. I find you all guilty. Now, Nick Briggs, because you basically are Mr. Big Finish and you're doing an amazing job. All I ask for you to do is sew your mouth shut and carry on with the great job you're doing. And I like you and I've interacted with you on Twitter and I respect you and I understand you're part of a country club. And you can't exactly say you didn't like what happened with the timeless children. So you get to stay. 
Russell, you betrayed the Doctor Who fandom. You built something amazing. You created a Kevin Feige type MCU franchise with Doctor Who. Then you went, oh well, had enough, walking away. See you, don't care if it falls down. You didn't even carry on in a Godfather role. So do you know what, Russell? You don't get to talk about Doctor Who anymore. What you did was amazing. Without you, there's no new Who. You were amazing. I love you. You are my hero. But go away. You ain't protecting anyone anymore. And Stephen Moffat, you are part of the most self-indulgent, selfish era of Doctor Who. And I love half of it. But at the end of the day, you stayed for too long. And maybe that wasn't your fault. Maybe Mark Gatiss was right. The BBC held you hostage. I don't know what was going on and I don't care. But you were absolutely wrong. I thought RTD was wrong for bringing you in as showrunner. But I tell you what, I take you back every day just to get rid of this alt-left lunatic, right? But what you did must be revenge on fans. I reckon you did this to get revenge on the fans that hated on you and threatened you on Twitter. So I get it. I understand that. You did it for maybe personal reasons, but you hurt Doctor Who. And I know something, Stephen, you're one of the biggest Doctor Who fans out there, maybe bigger than us people who actually watch the show. I know that. And I know you'll be watching that Day of the Doctor watch party with the fans. Maybe you'll even comment under somebody else because that's who you are. You love Doctor Who more than anyone who's ever worked on it. I get it. And I love you and I respect you for that. But it's time to stop. All of you, stop protecting this man. Chris Chimnall is a talented man. I'm sure he's a nice man. But he shouldn't be running Doctor Who. As much as I love the Timeless Child thing, and it has got its potential, this is not the man to run Doctor Who. Because he has got Doctor Bland. And I don't want to watch Doctor Bland anymore. And I don't want to see Doctor Bland's boring companions. And even though he's probably going to change that element up, I don't care anymore because he's not going to make it interesting. He can't do it unless he has to, unless he will. Maybe he will. I don't know anymore. That's what it is. I don't know what to think anymore. But the best thing for everyone is if you're all removed from the Doctor Who equation and we finally get someone with an axe to break this country club open and bring someone in, someone fresh, someone new, someone young, cast a brand new young Doctor of any culture of any colour, as long as they can freaking well say, right, this is the way you play the Doctor isn't the way I would play a normal character. You don't break it down with other characters. I must use my ability as an actor, but I must inject my personality and my soul into the role. It's what every other Doctor, actor who's played the Doctor has done, apart from Jodie Whittaker. And that's why it simply doesn't work at all. So... That's the trial of the showrunners. They lost, and we finally bring someone in who gets it, who can do something amazing, something brand new. This is a show about an immortal being with a, a, a quaint little blue box that's actually a time machine stroke spaceship. Do you get it? You can literally do anything. The BBC are willing to pay to make it. Do something amazing. Bring someone in who actually wants to make it great. And stop letting us down. Comment down below. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with even more Doctor Who Daily. See you again soon. Unless this apocalypse kills us all off.